Okay, hello, it's Nana JL54 once again today. Um, been working on the project for um my my friend in love. And um and uh, so I'm gonna show you what I've I've got done. I don't know if I'll be able to oh, I got embossing powder on the back of it. So um uh show you what I have done and tell you what I use so far and um and uh yeah and I don't know if it'll you know I haven't put the 3D stuff on it. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and we share grandbabies. So, um, uh, yeah. So what I did was, if you could see close up, I have gessoed this whole backing of the, you know, the whole back of the uh, board. I wanted to go, I thought about patterned paper, but this, the Seaside Retreat from um, Graphic uh, Webster's Pages just had too many flowers on it and stuff. So it was too confusing uh, for what I wanted to do. So this Stampin' Up! stamp set, okay, this is the Stampin' Up! stamp set. I don't know if they have it anymore. It's the Seaside. Um, I used uh, two stamps from it. I used the Conch Shell and the Starfish. And I'm going to show it to you really close. What I did was I kind of watercolored with um oops i watercolored the inside with um i took uh distress inks uh rusty hinge tea dye worn lipstick and i you know smushed them out on my mat and then i water blended the colors and watercolored them to look kind of like seashell -y colors okay it's it's not going to show up really good here um and the starfish uh I don't know why the starfish ended up with a lot more blue. I tried to do a resist uh, technique that um, our general artista Paula uh, showed, and I, I did it wrong. Something something didn't happen right. So I had to go back and um, and uh, stamp over it uh, after I colored it in because the, the water coloring washed all the ink away that I used. So anyway, so there. But, um, but having gesso on the back made it really a, a cool technique. So anyway, then... I use this dauber. This is Jenny Bolin, uh, but for Ranger. This is a Jenny Bolin color, and it's um, soap powder blue. And I use that, and I smudged it all around. And I took a baby wipe, and I blended it with a baby wipe. Okay. Then, oh, and this is the other stamp that I used. Um, whoops, not that one. Um, it's down. Let me show you the stamp first. The stamp is. This one right here, okay, this one here, and it's right down here, this right down here, but if you can see, you see this textury stuff here, you see it, it's like beach sand, oh, this is Sparkle and Sprinkle, and it is, um, it's called Beachcomber Tex, it's Beachcomber Texture, and it is to die for, okay, uh, they don't have it anymore, in fact, uh, when I went to the expo, they had, they didn't have it. I was looking for it. And I, I was like, oh, but I love that and I have to find it. She was like, you know what? We don't have it, but we have this. And it's called Granite Tex. It doesn't have as much of the, it's got some of the dark in it, but it not as many of the, you know, this got like, this is just really like beach sand. And this is a little bit like it. I mean, you could get away with this. But anyway, so what I did was I embossed that all around i put it here like beach sand okay and these are the the you know whatever sea oats and then i went ahead and embossed this stuff all around the edges if you can see the edges uh well the picture covers it there but see there it is there there it is there there it is there and i tore the pictures and then I went around with a little bit of gesso and that Jenny Boland uh, soap blue uh, around the edges of the pictures that were torn. And then I took this first. I went. I was going to add some more blue. I wanted to add a little more blue. And I took this dauber and I pushed it down, and it made these cute little circles. So and I thought, oh, I like those circles. So I just put some of those circles on there. Yeah. So I like that. So um. So. Um, after I stamped these, these right here, uh, and I, you know, colored them in, I went ahead and, and uh, got some stays on, uh, Timber Brown, and I stamped again over it with my clear block. I lined them up and stuff and uh, stamped over it. I don't use the wood mounts 
hardly at all anymore. I, some of them I didn't put on and some of them I've taken off and put, you know, cling. So anyway, that's how I did that. And that's that so far. And it'll go in the shadow box. And what I'm planning on doing is making uh, a couple little, maybe a flower here out of um, seashells. And, you know, a couple little things. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. And that's and that's that. So, I yay! I showed you guys everything I used. Yeah, I think I did. Yo, the first time I when I when I first um, stamped these the, the seashell and the starfish and the this the sea oats when I first stamped those I stamped those with um, you stamp your stamp in Versamark and then you stamp it in the color that you want, which I used um, chocolate chip. And then, and then you stamp it on, and it doesn't mess up your Versamark pad because you stamped in the Versamark first, and it makes that, okay? So then I didn't put clear, I thought if I didn't put clear embossing powder over it, and I just dried it, it would still resist. Wrong. Wrong. So anyway, so if you all try that technique, emboss it with embossing powder. So anyway, so that's that. And, um... Yeah, I have to finish this up, and uh, and I and I did some of the work on the girlies' uh, presents for their for the mommy and the daddy, and I can't believe tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I have to do my nails. Oh, they're they're really really bad on these old hands. My nails are all fucked up. Anyway, um, and what else? You guys have made uh, you guys have made such beautiful, wonderful comments. I'm like, I'm glad I make people happy. Um, that's the best compliment anybody could ever give me is um and the best gift anybody could ever give me is to is to tell me that um I make them smile or I brighten a part of their day or something so um that's you know that's um that's one of the main you know main things here is that we really give each other a lot of love and emotion as I mean more than you would think possible on a video so um, I want you guys to know that I love you and I'm wishing you another Merry Christmas and um, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to show you the the finished project um, uh, after I put it in the frame. I'll try. Love you guys and um, yeah, have a, a, a wonderful evening with your family. Goodbye.